Hello everybody, this is Richard Cispedes and I'm here to talk about more about uh, uh, more details on spirituality and uh, specifically on uh, how you um, how your perspective is when you're a spirit, when you're a ghost. You, um, when you're a spirit, <clears throat> and, uh, there, there is no reference or no differentiation of uh, there is no comparing of yourself of objects around you there's no there's no more comparing of 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 self being small compared to other things there's no more uh there's no more logical thinking of like that the things around you are larger than you and you're smaller than them or that you're larger <clears throat> than your environment is compared to you because you're no longer in the physical body you're just basically floating eyes basically the whole head is just like a like a camera like when they make the first person characters they just put a camera on top of the head of the video game character first person view and when you die you're just basically just a floating camera two eyes floating around and your body is no longer there so you're just a floating entity of just vision visual you're just seeing mostly a there's sensation and there's uh, mostly emotional sensation and things like that. But basically, it's it, everything around you is visual, you know, like how it is now. <clears throat> and, and and one thing is that one one good example is that when you stare at the universe, like let's say that when you die, your your spirit is floating, you're staring at the sky while you're floating up, and it's night and there's stars and the moon and everything. When you're staring up. Uh, at the stars and everything floating up as a spirit you, you basically become the totality of your observation there is no uh, reference that that you are smaller than the universe and the universe is larger than you um, you become the vastness of what you're looking at you know there is no uh, comparing or differentiation of self and your external environment you become what you're viewing because you're no longer because when you're living you know when you're walking in the living world there's always comparing and logical thinking open thinking you know how big a building is compared to you how big a mountain is compared to people how small an ant is and how large you are compared to it there is there is nothing like that no more large giant small microscopic is all one thing it happens all at once and it is one it's all one size everything is all one thing <clears throat> and you um you're there there is no reference because like let, let's say for instance uh like another example um let's say that you have uh like in the living for example when you put something close to your eye it becomes blurred when you put something close to the vision of your eyes the object becomes blurred to you, you know, it looks blurry, but when you put it away, it looks clear. But when you put it up close to the eye, your uh, eye needs to adjust. But your eye can only adjust so much because of the anatomy and the physical state of the living body. The only so much it can do. When you, uh, when you put objects close to you, your eyes need to uh, adjust so that it can view the object and try to perceive the object up close. The eye can't look at objects when they're right close to your face they become blurred the eye can only adjust so much to be able to view things up close and that within itself is um is a is, is a, a differentiation of a different a, a way of this uh, describing um how the, the limitations of the body is when you become a, a spirit when, when 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 you're living body you're putting this thing up to your face you know that it's smaller than you because you're holding it and you're and you know that you're picking it up and that you're putting it close and it's just all you know everything comes together and all the logical thinking says that it's a small object and when you put up close you can't view it clearly and you know there's limitations but when you're a spirit you're you, you're, you're no longer limited by a physical body and by your vision no more so when you when you're a spirit and you look at something like this again and you're kind of just floating into it like a spirit does spirits can float into anything it's it's the the the, the vision and the and the um, the uh, the perceiving of the object whether far away or close is always clear always close all the time 
because you're no longer limited by the anatomy of the eye needing to adjust, the living eye. Now the spirit eye sees everything clearly from a distance and up close. And not only can I get up close and see things clearly to it, but it can see all the small details of every nuance, of every crevice, of every scratch on the object. And it can go into it and zoom into it like a microscope and zoom every little thing of, of the atoms and everything like that. And so uh, when you're in a living body, you have so much limitations. And, and the reason why uh, there's so much overthinking is because it's social. Um, you're, you're grounded on the earth, you have to adapt to the limitations of your body. You know, you have to, uh, the, uh, the way that you uh, adapt, uh, the way that you connect with people and find joy is by socializing and creating a social, placing yourself at certain, uh, certain places, me meeting and greeting with people that you think can make you happy or can, you can make them happy. It's just a big mess. It's just very limited. And um, when it comes to size and per perceiving things like that, obviously when you're in a living body, you know, you know a, building, a building is larger than you, a mountain is larger than you. But it's only because uh, you're not released from the living body. When you're released from the living body, your spirit is free. So all you are is just a floating eye, floating camera. You're looking at, at everything around you. You become the totality of your observation. There is no um, differentiation. There's no separation from your vision of the object. You are connected with it. You have become it, and you are. Uh, there is. Uh, you become the vastness and the largeness, or the minuscule size of everything that you're looking at. If you zoom into something small, you become that. When you look at something big like an ocean or the sky, you become your observation, the vastness or the minuscule of your of your perception of what you're perceiving. You know, because now you don't have, you don't have to like differentiate size from a mountain or from a small object no more. And you don't have the pettiness of the living state of the, of social and different things that just, it's just a big old hodgepodge of mess living in the, in the, in the living world. And, but, but when you're a spirit, <clears throat> there is no small, there is no average, there is no giant size. Everything is just all one size. You become the large and the small and everything in between. You know, you're just, you become what you're looking at. You become that, you, you become everything. You know, because now you don't have no limitations and you don't have any uh, separation of differentiation yourself from objects around you. And, uh, and, and also too, spirits. One thing that I just thought of, with the spirits, whenever you see spirits like an unsolved mysteries or whatever, this or or, or movies or whatever documentaries of spirits, whenever a family member sees a spirit or a haunted house or something, the spirits are always looking straight. And the and the, and the thing is though that spirits, since they're no longer in the living body, they they no longer need to use physical eyes to you know they turn their eyes and look right or turn their eyes and look left. They don't need to like in order to see someone coming from the left, they don't need to look left. They see someone coming from the right, they don't need to look right. They don't need to turn around to see someone coming from the back because they're no longer in the physical body. So their, 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 their total sensory is now complete. Like they don't need to know what's behind them or side of them. They now have uh, 360 degrees vision and sensory, the ghosts. They, they no longer are limited by the anatomy or the, or the limitations of the physical body or by ears. Their whole body is, is the ear, the whole body is the vision, their whole body is the physical uh, sensation. They know when someone's behind them, and that's why when spirits appear, they look straight at you or straight past you, because they no longer need to move their eyes to look at you. They can see you even if you're behind them, and they can see a clear picture of you, because they have now they have a 360 degree complete vision of their world around them, because now they become the, their world. Basically, when a spirit leaves a body, it then becomes and adapts. Um, the environment becomes its new body. The living world, when a spirit comes to the living world, the environment then becomes its new physical body. It becomes the totality of its environment. And it doesn't need to look and turn its head or anything like that to see. It can see everywhere without actually having to look or 
turn the head or anything like that. And that's another thing about the spirit spirituality is that the vision of of uh, um, of uh, the separation and the differentiation and and and, and size of you being small, mountains being big, the ant being small, you being a giant. In the spiritual realm, you become with the totality of everything all at once. Because you're no longer in the physical body, you no longer use yourself, the physical body self, to differentiate what is big uh, in terms, in, well, what is bigger than you, how you're bigger than other things. You're, you're no longer having to, to break and separate yourself from the physical world because now you become the totality of you, you become the totality you become the vastness of your observation you become the totality of your observation in your spirit you're just floating eyes a floating camera you, of course you have arms and stuff like that still but you're just mostly it's all vision and sensory now and uh, this is Ricky says but it is and that's my perception my idea of how spirits see the living in the world and everything else like that and I hope you guys like it thank you very much